Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Bugs and today guys I'm going to be telling you my multiverse esports wish list that I hope and pray that everything I say on this list gets into multiverses. But before we get into that, I just want to give you some information on the gameplay that you're watching in the background because we are finally able to upload multiverses gameplay. Yeah, yeah, I remember the trailer days? Oh my god, those those were hell. But yeah, so what you're watching right here is we're going against um, some great players in, um, throughout this whole video. First, we have is too easy a Mortal Kombat Pro slash traditional pro like in other pr traditional fighters. We have Kamachi, a really great solid um, Harley player in multiverses. And then the following matches you're gonna see is Viggs, a multiverses dev. And then finally we have is Sinum, a very promising upcoming multiverses pro. And let's get straight into the video. Oh, before we get into the video, guys, if you do enjoy multiverses videos, hit the subscribe button, guys. Or I would tell Tony to not drop this game until August. Yeah, yeah. Better, better hit that subscribe button guys <laughs> let's get straight into the video now number one on my esports list is one i want them to have rank b explain as much as they can something like how apex has it you know apex has their little list of explaining you know how many points you gotta get to the certain um division how many points you earn etc just something that gives us an idea and, and like obviously it won't be the same because you know apex is a battle royale but something more like what is the basic numbers you should be earning depending on the div you know the diverse points you are from your opponent how much can you expect what's the highest you think you could get what's the lowest you could get you know something like that just to give us an idea i don't like games that keeps us in the dark and we just get random numbers we're like cool we're going up cool why did i get so much little this time oh this time i got a lot you know i want to know why i want to see like okay this person with this rank so this is why i got that i want to know why you know next uh we have is diversity um in ranks and what i want to go based off of that is mostly like valorant you know I feel like how Valorant and like I think other games, I think Apex too, but you know how it has Radiant and X amount of people is in it. I think Multiverses not only needs one, but two ranks of that. And I know a lot of people are saying like, what? Why would you want to do that? And da 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 da. The reason why is because I think this gives a reason to keep playing and keep grinding the game, you know? Because like in most games, once you hit the high rank, it's like, it's done. It's boring, you know? There's nothing else to talk about. It's like, oh, I'm the highest rank in this game. Cool now what do i do you know there's a lot of people that don't have the urge to grind or play anymore because they hit the highest rank now what these two ranks does is uh, allows you to grind and play more and go for placements and like you know being first top five top ten and etc so not only will we have like a number one rank um like division like top 100 or top 500 you know wh whatever number they, they could decide on but on top of that we also have another division for players that can't always play so like the first division will most likely be for the pros and the content creators that play the game a lot and then the second highest division will be for the people that are really good but don't have enough time to play a lot and still have that diversity of like oh i am a top player you know in this division and it's at x amount of people so the first division like i said would be probably like 250 500 or whatever and then the next division would be like top a thousand or top 2000 and then every other division can have as many or how many people but those two divisions are like oh they're about it they're 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 really grinding because you know they're getting knocked back and back and forth with people doing better or winning games and losing games and then obviously we're gonna have you know elo decay or whatever it is you know if you don't play x amount of time you lose elo or whatever point system you use and you decrease and you can get kicked out of those divisions i think those are the only two divisions you should be allowed to get you know dropped down of if you don't play and the other ones obviously you know you're at the bottom of you know whatever it is let's just say diamond like the bottom of diamond you just stay there unless you know the, the decay kicks you down you know how etc like that i think that just gives a more drive to play rank you know instead of just hitting the highest rank and be like all right i'm done it allows us to play more and gives us a reason to keep on continuing grinding um next we have on my list is a leaderboard rank this is kind of confirmed i guess you could say if, if you didn't play the alpha alpha pretty much had a leaderboard just for pubs i'm pretty sure we could expect the leaderboard for rank it's a no-brainer but you know obviously for some reason if they didn't think about it hey you know guys <laughs> leaderboards please <laughs> um next is i want to have a power ranking Something like how, I want to say Brawlhalla, right? Yeah, Brawlhalla has it where it shows, you know, the, your top players or your players that play in the official tournaments, their earnings, their placements and stuff. I think that's a great idea, amazing thing. And also helps with, you know, seeding in the official official tournaments and people can actually see why this person was seeded this way and that and not to be like, oh, this guy's popular. That's why he's number one seed or second seed. No, there's actually information and it's backed 
upped by this power ranking that actually shows and I don't know I think this is pretty cool you know having a list of everybody there and just be able to see it versus you know scrapping it up and trying to go through every tournament this person has ever been into like official tournaments and finding it out I think this would be a cool idea to see just overall you know I think all players would enjoy this um next we have is rank rewards the best way I could say this is like you know knockout city I know a lot of people don't know what it is but that game um, a mock-up for Apex that people wanted to see. Just something that feels rewarding to when you place a certain rank in the season. And then when it ends, you actually get something for it, you know. Don't just do a little title or something. I want to see some skins. I want to see some, some some sauce, some juice. Like I want to be like, oh yeah, people could see that I am this rank or I was this rank last season. Then just like, hey, there's a little title. Yeah, you were, you were uh, silver in season one. Oh, you were... The highest rank and here you go here's a little title because in reality these games have way better titles than what the rank titles usually are you know like it, it's more cool wording or cool looking so most of the time people don't even use the rank titles and stuff so i'll listen to see some skins some banners some badges something you know i want some i want to see some sauce in this game man but yeah next we have is in game tournaments now the best way i could go off of this is Rocket League. Rocket League, I think, literally is the only game. I think Valorant's following its footsteps finally. It's going to be having um, their own tournament sooner or later in inside their game, which I think is just amazing. And I hope Multiverses follows into those footsteps, man. Like, for a game that already says that they want this game to be esports and they want this game to be a very, very long, thriving game for years, having this implemented into your game is just amazing. And it also gets a lot of more people into your esports you know because in reality there's a lot of people that don't know about these tournaments or they know about it but they don't know how to get into it so if you literally have the tournaments in your game it opens up the door to more entries and more people knowing like oh i can just play i could just sign up right straight in the game i don't have to go to no third party website or do this and third and try to get in you could just do it straight into the game man and I'm pretty sure Valorant, um, you know, when they do their thing, it's only going to be official tournaments. I'm pretty sure Rocket League has a system where, you know, you can just make up your own tournament. Um, Multiverse, if you're watching, hey, man, you can start like Valorant, only have official tournaments be be able to do the in-game tournaments. But, you know, hopefully down the line, you can have some, 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 you know, local lands or people just make up their own tournaments. And, you know, they have ruling and have a prize pool and all that stuff. That, that would be cool, man. That would be sick but that's just you know a wish list that i hope that comes true <laughs> um number six or number seven i'd be forgetting the numbers when i'd be doing this thing but i would love to hear a world cup league or a roadmap by 2023 because as we know the game is going to be dropping in july i think a six months grace period in 2023 i would love to hear hey guys you know, with the love and effort and everything and all the lands and all thing and evil and all this stuff going crazy and amazing. Assumptions, you know, because, you know, it could fail, but I highly doubt it. But I would love to hear that, you know, I would love to see a roadmap for their competitions, whether it be um, lands or online tournaments or both. You know, I would love to actually have a roadmap and not just get announced a few weeks before any thingy. Just having a roadmap like how Fortnite did or like Apex does, you know, just like any, you know, regular esports game, man. It'll just be amazing to um hear that by you know 2023 i think that would be solid and then finally is their community land support so we actually do have some type of information on this uh, i'm gonna post a, a tweet right here pretty much uh and it looks like i'm um, tony and the team is very interested in helping like community land support i'm not sure how those supports really gonna be but my idea or what I was talking about for support would be like tournament entries into bigger tournaments. Like for example, how I was talking about the roadmap, it would be cool that, you know, they do have qualifiers online, but in certain states with big land centers like New York and New Jersey or Cali and stuff or Texas, there is a way where if you win that tournament or get top two in that tournament, you get invited to a bigger tournament on the road map or you know the world cup league or whatever and then that also gives people more of a chance to compete you know because it's like oh what if you do bad in the qualifier or say you just have bad internet and you could just never do good in qualifiers because you're always lagging or something this gives you the land experience and the lands 
the land advantage not really advantage but you know the the fair play on playing a land with no internet issues and then you know you finally prove yourself like hey the reason why i do bad in land i mean online tournaments is because my internet now i'm at land now i'm doing good now i get invited to a bigger land event and i can really show my skills and stuff you know i think stuff like that is just gonna be cool and amazing for this game if they you know do stuff like that and i think that's it for my wish list guys yeah i think that's it like the video if you love the video guys um combat anything comment y'all esports on um, wish list for multiverse which i would like to see and etc and it's your first time you watching one of my videos guys and you love multiverse videos you better hit that goddamn subscribe button guys because i will get tony yeah yeah he follows me I, I if i tell him he will do it probably not but anyways and I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man. She don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA because she want to be famous. Got a nine to five on the side. She a waitress. But it's getting tough. Hard to find.